Sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. Welcome to Sail Faster, Sail Safer, a series of videos presented by professional solo sailor Pip Hare. Today we're out in the Solent looking at upwind sailing. We've got with us Brian Thompson, Vendée Globe skipper, who in over 20 years of professional racing in monoholes and multi-holes has gained 25 world records. Today Brian's going to give us a hand to get our boats going more efficiently upwind and a little bit faster. Okay, upwind steering. I think the most important thing is to get the sails trimmed correctly to get the boat really in the groove so the uh, jib and the main working well so that you've got the right amount of weather helm on the boat so the boat almost steers itself when you've got the helm locked off. Now um, personally when I steer the boat I'm, I'm looking at a few key things and the primary thing for me to keep the boat going in an exactly straight line so I'd be looking 70% of the time at the horizon at, at something on the shore if there's a shore nearby or if out in the ocean um, a cloud in the distance or at night a star or if it's uh, nothing to see then I'd use the compass and that, so the primary thing is to go exactly straight and the second thing for me is, is to look at the heel angle and keep that exactly the same and thirdly keep checking the telltales uh, so about 10% of the time I'd be looking at the telltales and another 10% of the time I'd be looking at the boat speed keeping that in a very tight range and in terms of turning the wheel I'd hardly turn the wheel at all maybe on a wheel like this move it uh, a couple of millimeters um, and try to go straight all the time until something changes with the wind and then very gradually move to the new course without letting the speed drop. And in waves, interestingly, I don't upwind, especially in uh, choppy conditions like in the solar, I'll never, I'll never look at the waves. It's more important to keep the boat going straight at the correct heel angle, at the correct speed and not move the wheel too much and then you'll find you'll just punch punch through those waves. It's only on the very biggest wave that you need to uh, make sure the boat doesn't damage itself as it jumps over the wave and then that's obviously a new a new factor of not not uh, not um, breaking uh, breaking anything on the boat but otherwise uh, just steering straight and going fast are the keys. Now we've got the uh, pilot on going upwind and on uh, some of the very fast boats I sail on like the Mocha 60s we tend to sail on true wind angle but on most boats apparent wind angle is a good mode to be in to go upwind and uh, probably set the boat up very slightly differently to sailing by hand and have the boat sailing a couple of degrees lower further away from the wind that's the main sheet a little bit more each to have a little more forgiveness for the uh, inevitable slight wandering that the pilot will do and uh, sensitivity you just have the minimum sensitivity you can get away with to keep the boat going along in a straight line to save on um, power consumption Sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. <laughs> 